Writing essays is a skill many of us have forgotten, so here are some reminders to help you and your child. Some really practical ways which, in which a parent can help their child. It doesn't matter if they don't know the content themselves. If they are writing essays, essays can be very overwhelming for students. Parents can help children with their essay writing by organising their thoughts. To start with, they need to discuss with their child what is the question and what's the question really asking. They need to carefully look at the questions they're being asked. The question should always have a key term. It's usually the first, first word of the question. It may be later. And they are things like explain, discuss, outline, analyse, identify. Have a conversation around that and really nut out the key points. Drop those key points down. In each examination, the verbs actually ask a really specific thing. For example, if they're asking you to evaluate, what they're really doing is asking you to make a judgment about something. If, on the other hand, they're asking you to just name and define something, they're asking you to name it and explain what that thing is about. But they are different things, so a student really needs to understand what the verb of the question is asking for them to do it and be successful at responding to that. Circle the important words in the question and make sure you focus on what they're asking you to do, not what you want to do. Essays follow a very specific formula. Practice your essay structure so that you're following the introduction, body and conclusion. They start with an introduction that introduces everything that's going to be discussed in the essay that will follow. Really make sure you're addressing what is the question asking and put forward your response to it. And then, just in very key short sentences, the points that you're going to be discussing in your essay to support your answer. Those key points form your introduction and each point starts a paragraph. Topic sentences which introduce what each paragraph is going to be about. In each paragraph you need to expand on that point to elaborate and explain and draw upon um, the text or the sources um, why it is that you are putting forward this point of view or this argument. Knowing your language uh, features, so metaphor, simile, personification, you have an example from your text and then you explain the effect of using that language feature because authors don't use language features, you know, just a pad, they use it to have an effect on the audience so it's important the students understand that and it's got to relate back to that question. Every new idea is a new paragraph so they don't end up with ginormous paragraphs. One idea, one paragraph, students should be learning that from primary school then your conclusion needs to sum it all up but you never include any new information because that shows you haven't planned. So the introduction introduces all the points of an essay and then each point is expanded on in um, the subsequent paragraphs and then all of those points are rounded up and brought together in the conclusion. We say essay writing introduction, say what you're going to say, body, say it, conclusion, say what you've said. One thing that parents can do to help their children in high school is to proofread their homework. By proofreading you'll not only help your child and offer a sense of support um, that can help them feel more confident with the work that they're then submitting, but it can really help inform the parent about where their child is at. You get to learn more about their life in high school as well as where they're at academically and ways that you can help them. And there are more videos, articles and glossaries to help your child with writing at schoolatoz.com.au.